So to make enemy health bars, I've got two objects, one being the enemy itself and one being its health bar. The points within both of these are just at the top in the center on both of these objects. So in my enemy object variables, I've got one that's called health and I've set it to 10. So now in the events, don't mind this, this is just the shooting part of it. I'm gonna make a new event. This is just gonna be the bullet colliding with the enemy and I'm going to do a trigger once here and I'm just going to delete the bullet and also go into my object variable of enemy go into health and I'm going to subtract three let's say because since it's 10 I think three is a decent amount now we have the bullet stuff working but now we want to make the actual health bar itself so for this I'm going to go over to the right here click on add and I'm going to click on for each object so on this part here I'm going to click and I'm going to choose for each enemy so what this does is it does all of these but for each instance of this object. So for the condition, I'm just gonna do trigger once. And the first action, I'm just gonna create the enemy health bar. This is going to be at my enemy's X position and my enemy's Y position. But the Y is gonna be minus 15, so it's on top of the enemy object. So since the origin point of my enemy object is in the center at the top and the origin point of my health object is also in the center, they will line up nicely so the reason i put the origin point of my health in the center is so that the health expands outwards in both directions not just going right or left so it's symmetrical so i'm gonna press ok on that and i'm gonna create another action and i'm just gonna change the height of my health so simply because the sprite i'm using is too big on the height and i'm just gonna set it to 10. so now for my third action i'm gonna type in link at the top and click on link two objects so what this is going to do is it's going to link both of those objects with their instances and so it's like making a bond between them the first one is going to be the enemy and then the second one is going to be the health bar and so now i'm going to make a new for each event once again it's going to be for the enemy but for the condition i'm going to type in link at the top and take into account linked objects the first one is going to be the health bar because it's going to pick these objects and see if they're linked to this object which is the enemy so since we're linking them here we're going to see if the enemy health bar is linked to the enemy and here we're going to change the width of our health bar and set it to the object variable of the enemy so what you can see here is that there's a health bar and it goes down on both sides since the origin point is in the center it goes down on both sides by three so that was quite a small health bar so what we can do to increase the size of it is just add something on the end here so i can do times five for example so now you can see it's a much larger health bar and it works quite well and now we want to delete the enemy once the health is below zero and so we can make a new for each event once again being the enemy and the first condition is going to be going into the objects variable of the enemy in the health and checking to see it's less than or equal to zero and so now we can just copy this condition the link one and paste it under here and we can then delete the enemy and also delete the health bar. So now I can just control drag on the enemy, like so, and create just a bunch of them. And they all have their own separate health bars that act independently from each other. So if you had moving enemies, then inside of this event, you could just set the position of the enemy health bar equal to what you set it when you created it. So for me, this would be dot y minus 15. So if I just quickly give this a behavior, let's say a platformer, then you saw there that the health bar was following the enemy. So I hope this tutorial helped you and have fun.